everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome back to the next episode of the Galactic Ruler tutorial series, brought to you by Battlegoat Studios, where today we're going to talk about the cornerstone of your economy, or, or your economy, <laughs> the cornerstone of the game, the game that, uh, the part of the game that drives, if you want to, that military industrial complex that is Galactic Ruler. <laughs> so in this episode, we're going to be talking about generally just the overall basics of what the economy is, how it works. And uh, overall, how do you exploit it or make it better? Um, so what we're going to talk about first is just the buttons and the icons first. And what we're going to do is go to the top right hand corner here. Here are the four the, the four um, the resources in the game. We have agriculture, we have ore, we have energy, and we have finished goods. Now, the thing about this game is it's all about you know, exploration and exploitation of natural resources, basically. And then anything additional you want to do on that, you know, conquest, what have you, um, is, you know, secondary to the economy. So one of the things that is really important in this game is to get, obviously, more resources or equal to the amount of resources that you need. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to read up the information and see basically what you're doing in regards to how much resources you're using and obviously where they're going. So without further ado, resources. So there's two ways to access your resource panel. Uh, the first one is this button right here. It'll bring up all your resources, what you're using and all that stuff. Uh, the second way is by clicking your governor priorities and you can tell your governor, hey, do me a favor. I want you to do this. Uh, we're gonna ignore the governor uh, priorities for now because obviously we're gonna do things ourselves. You can also hover over, as you saw a few seconds ago, and get a very quick look as to what's kind of going on in your economy, in your uh, in your empire. So right here we can see we're producing exactly what we need for agriculture and food, and how much and how much food we have or agriculture we have in supply. Or sorry, in uh, in stocks and basically in storage. Uh, minerals, aka ore, uh, same thing. We can see that we're producing actually more than we need right now. Um, and we're storing about 243.64 million tons. Uh, we can also see that power, we are severely behind the uh, the ball there, but we do have a lot in storage. So we're not too, too concerned off the bat. And then obviously the last but not least is our finished goods. We can see that we're overproducing on our finished goods. So, how do you get these resources? Well, there's two major ways. The first one is exploiting them yourself, building mines on your planet. So I'll show you here, for example, we'll come down here to the facility controls. We'll pick our mines, we'll pick our facility controls, and we'll say, hey, build. And you'll see all these red dots are spots where we can theoretically build a mine. Like we'll hover over this one and it'll show us, hey, um, theoretically there's zero tons available here. Zero tons there, zero tons there. You're not actually going to know how many tons are available um, until you actually build it. So you can tell usually the brighter it is, the more resources are available, the darker it is, the less amount of resources are available. Now, it's one of the good things is it kind of, you know, leaves it up for imagination, but you can tell usually by the colors, um, whether it's good or bad. There's other also four additional options here. There's the market controls. So this is, for example, if you're exporting uh, a good, you can say, hey, I'm willing to export X, Y, Z amounts, uh, X, you know, X amount of units worth, uh, a bulk. So this will say, for example, the biggest order I'm willing to fulfill is 103.5 million tons. Well, here I can say, hey, I'm willing to, at any given time, transfer this over to say, basically I prefer this as more manual transfer. This so you can transfer it up to your orbital station, load it into a transport and send it over to your, for example, colony and drop it off there. So this is more of a manual transfer than anything. Then you can set up auto exports. So say, hey, I wanna export X percentage of my overall surplus production. So we already know for our minerals, we're actually overproducing by 34,000. So we can say, hey, you know what? Let's do 80% of that surplus. So we're gonna be sending you 80% of that 34,000. Now you can come here to market trades and also kind of do the same thing. You can say, hey, 
I just want the merchant AI to come get stuff and give me stuff in advance in, in return. Usually this is the option I pick. I'll select market trades and you see the option here. So it says, hey, we're self-sufficient and we're targeting for only to have one day's worth of supply, which is cool, but that means we're still banking, right? So with any of the four resources, you can actually right click and drag or use your scroll wheel while hovering over it. And then you move it around. What you want to do in this case, because we're obviously overproducing, is we want to scroll backwards or scroll to the left and say we want to either limit our exports. So we're going to export, but not a major amount. And as you scroll back further, it'll change to just export in general, and then obviously aggressively export. So basically, every time the merchant AI has an option, it's like, take all of my minerals. And then usually you do this opposite for something that you're obviously lacking. In this case, we're lacking in power. So what I want to do is I want to ramp this up and be like, okay, so theoretically on the back end, I'm now providing minerals and we'll do the same thing for our finished goods for hopefully as much power as we can get because power is the hamper at the beginning of the game. And as you can see on the right here, it also tells you where all your minerals and all your stuff are going. Right now our power right here, we had to send from production or from our stock to our, sorry, from production of power to our stock. Our stockpile then sent the power to obviously our population, people need power, and sent the power to the military obviously for for things that they need and then also for our finished goods production now agriculture does not need uh power but your finished goods do because they turn the ores and the minerals into the stuff you need now trading is pretty easy um we're gonna actually look at the overall galactic map here so for example with a trade deal with our colon here that i already had pre-set up we can right click click diplomatic offer come over here to resources and be like, hey, um, I'm gonna give you a bunch of agriculture. I'm gonna give you a bunch of ore. I'm gonna give you a bunch of energy because I'm gonna assume you need it. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of finished goods because I'm gonna assume you need those two. Fledging, obviously you can see they need over here. They need finished goods. They're okay on energy. So we're actually gonna remove energy as an option. Do they need ore? You know what? No, they don't need ore. So actually, I'm going to remove that too. Agriculture. Do they need agriculture? Yes. No, they don't. They're overproducing on agriculture as well. Holy smokes, this is actually really good. Do they need anything? They need finished goods. Okay, I'm going to send them finished goods. And in return, I'm going to take um, energy. Basically, whatever they can give me. Or, um, you know what? Let's take, uh, let's try and take about... Well, they're going to need some ore for production and things like that. So we're just going to take a little bit of ore and we're going to take a little bit of food from them. Not too much. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say, that's it. And because it's my colony, it auto accepts. So we're also just going to make sure that all that's turned on. It is. And we're just going to hit the button. Now, what will happen is over time, the merchant AI will show up at my home planet. We'll pick up the thing and move it over. Now I could also just manually, as I showed earlier, go into an option, select it, and then just drag it, uh, set it to the orbital station, have one of my transports, go manually load it, and then go to the planet. But you don't need to do that. You don't want to do that this early. Now, how do I collect resources on a solar level? It's actually very easy, not too hard. Um, for example, on my main planet here, we're going to go into the recon tab we built. That's a normal defense platform. Where is it? Where, where are you? Here we go, an ore harvester. So I'm gonna zoom in over here and you can see these little guys right here and these two over here. What they're gonna do is they're gonna automatically go out and collect if I have the the, uh, the option available. For example, um, this asteroid here has, we hover over, high ore availability. So what will happen is they'll go get it, bring it over to our planet, Make sure that you also build something for them to be stored in. So in this case, we have a orbital storage. Um, they'll collect the ore for us, bring it to our planet, and there you go. By building, it's pretty simple. You right click on your planet, you click build, and then you just scroll up or down. In this case, we built the ore harvester. So how do you do this on a planet that you do not control? Well, pretty simple actually. 
we're going to do that down here. So I have um, an engineer. What you do is you produce your engineers, which we'll get into in another video, via your defense department. You select your engineer. In this case, the engineer is currently under the capital ship uh, tab. But we're going to highlight the, uh, the engineer here, and we're going to tell the engineer to build the orbital station. And we're just going to come over here, and we're going to right-click. And we're going to unpause for a split second, and there we go. Now, I haven't landed anybody on the planet yet. If I wanted to turn this planet into a... Um, actually, hold on. No, sorry. Did it turn this into a... Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. So we turn this into a... Um, definitely a colony. So what will happen is... This colony here, if we want to select it... If we right click so this colony would be like hey we're gonna start building or harvesters we're also gonna build well a mining station now mining stations are further down the road when it comes to technology but they make they're a little bit more efficient things like that but earlier on you're gonna be able to build ore harvesters um, we're gonna build uh can't build my an energy extractor or connector um for, for defense, you know, the defense platform. There we go. They're going to do their thing. Later on, what we can do is start going over here and saying, hey, um, the planet itself, we're not too worried about. So this is us building, but you can see here, they're coming. They're not collecting ore. We switch back over to our guy here. There we go. So I previously set this up. <laughs> this is a gas giant so you get a lot of your ores from you know mines or orbital mines things like that where do you get your power from well you get your power from gas giants so you can hover over a gas giant or actually select it and go into your recon tab which is a lot better and you can see that there's the four options here well obviously ores not available it's a gas planet but we have energy i guess in the form of like gas which we can then burn off for power so what we can do here is right click go to build we're gonna build the energy extractor. And now, in the wonderful thing of time, we have built an energy extractor. So we're now getting power from this built from this planet. Basically, think of it as you're extracting the gas, which you can then burn to create power. Future average gamer here. Sorry to interrupt myself, but I just wanted to mention one thing. So I built the extractor here all around this planet, and I forgot to do one specific thing. Um, because this is a gas giant, um, you get a notification, which I ignored, um, stating that you need to build a, we're gonna go here, do, 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 an orbital storage. The reason why you need to build an orbital storage is because it is needed to trade and basically store your goods that this colony is producing. So specifically for gas giants, um, you will get a game notification and a game pop-up, um, which I ignored. <laughs> um, you need to build an orbital storage to store your goods so they can then be traded to, in this case, the parent nation or whoever uh, needs them. So just remember that um, you need an orbital storage for gas giants. Back to pass me. That's the way I think of it. Um, but there we go. So that's how you produce power. That's how you produce ores and obviously food and things like that on your home planet. Trade via the merchant AI and things like that. As I said earlier, you can monitor your trades and things like that via this system here, which I'm going to unpause and you will be able to see every now and then the AI will show up and you'll see it'll say, well, <laughs> it's happening so fast. <laughs> that uh, the merchant AI is coming in and jumping out so fast but you'll see like there's the extra little extra little oh, oh we missed it again <laughs> but yeah, so what'll happen is the merchant AI as you can see here will accept your offers so here for example we traded uh, energy for agriculture or and finished goods and what'll happen is over time you'll grow you'll have your interstellar dominion, uh, so to speak, going from all the different systems. I only have one other system here, but there you go. That's the basics way, basic ways about how resources work and how to collect them and how to work them. Try to keep this quick as possible, as basic as possible, but there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.